So we were looking for a manager of the year and we found him over by the batting cages. Brandon Hyde, congratulations, 101 wins a year ago and now there's hype, right? How do you manage that in a young clubhouse? I don't, I, you know, our guys aren't phased by anything. I think that um, we've taken such big strides here the last couple of years. Uh, obviously last year was a, a year we're really proud of. Didn't end the way we wanted it to, but um, you know, winning the American League East with this group, Pretty much everybody's coming back. A lot of guys are back um, and a year older, and we're kind of getting younger at times a little bit because we have so much depth and, and our minor league system is so strong at the upper levels. But we're proud of last year and just want to build on that for next year. Winning is fun, right? But also it comes with expectations. And, and with a young team like you just talked about with Lauren, how do you get these guys to not worry about the pressure and go out there and just play their game? You know, I just think that we're – our guys have – been unbelievably consistent. Last year we were incredibly consistent. I don't think anything's changed this year. Um, you know, there's. I don't think our guys are reading anything. Yeah. You know, honestly, um, we play in the toughest division in baseball. Every team's trying to win the division, uh, and we know that. And, and, and teams have gotten better also. Yeah. So we need to improve as well. Um, we don't take anything for granted. And I, I just think our, our guys are young and hungry and just want to want to go win. I was wondering about that when you say. <laughs> Improve. I'm like, man, how do I, what do I ask Brand about improving? You won 101 games. You look at all the stats. Y'all were pretty much, you know, in the single digits as far as offensively, defensively, the, the, the bullpen. How do you get better? Well, I think, we, I mean, we have room to improve for sure. And, we're, and we're, a lot of our guys are just kind of getting into their prime years or something yeah. younger than that. So um, I think guys are going to build off the seasons they had last year. We have a really strong farm system. Uh, you're going to see more players come up this year. Uh, but I think you know defensively and pitching, that's that's going to be the key. And if our you know our young pitchers can continue to improve, if Grayson continues to improve, Dean Kramer continue to improve. You know Kyle Bradish was third in Cy Young last year. Um, he's still that was his first full year last year. So um, you know we're 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 you know we're we're really excited about these young guys, yeah. and they, they have they still have room to grow. The versatility that you have, you know, the luxury, because I think it's something you know that a lot of teams look for. And you have the luxury to have some versatility with Santander, being able to move from right field to first and guys move around and get some more playing time for other guys. But how is it to juggle that and yeah. still get guys in the lineup consistently? Well, I think that was the key for us winning a lot of games last year, honestly, was the ability to play multiple positions, to be able to give guys days off, to, to fill in with major league players and good major league players around and be able to move guys around and keep guys as fresh as possible. So a lot of our guys can play multiple positions. Right. Almost all of our infielders can play other positions in the infield. Some of these guys can play the outfield. To be able to kind of rotate around and to be as versatile as possible. And I go back to, uh, you know, when we had Zobrist in Chicago uh -huh. and, and Ben, you know, what he did being able just to, talking to about hit him the out. I mean, just a, what a great baseball <laughs> right? player in every way. The ultimate, you know, pro burst, that's what they called him. Oh. Like just, oh, a, just a pro in every way. But he, he could play anywhere in the infield and anywhere in the outfield, and Joe used him that way. And we have guys that kind of are younger than, than Zoe at that time, but uh, have that versatility. It yeah. really, really increases, uh, you know, just to be able to keep the as fresh as possible. Just looking at your bullpen on paper, there's some decisions to make, right? Who stood out mm -hmm. so far in camp? Well, you know, we lost Batista. Yep. So that's a huge loss for us. So to, you know, you go back to how can we improve? Well, right. we, we have to <clears> fill <throat> that void. And, they, and we signed Craig Kimbrell, and we're excited about Craig and Craig's borderline Hall of Fame career, a uh, guy that's saved so many games in, in his career. So uh, excited about Craig, but Batista's, for me, the best reliever in the game. So how do we pick up the pieces there? Uh, we did a great job that last month without him. Um, and now guys just have to change their roles a little bit. And, and uh, you know, we continue to improve in the, in the bullpen. Where will Tyler Wells slot in? Right now he's in the rotation. OK. And, um, you know, for me, he was arguably our best starter in the first half last year, just what he did. I think he was leading the league in whip at the All-Star break. He was, it was six innings every time out, one or two runs. It was just an incredible first half he had. And because of his, the last few years, he just kind of ran out of gas a little bit. But then he helped us out in the bullpen down the stretch in a big way. So he can do, do a variety of different things for us. Where we are right now, um, we're getting him every, every opportunity to, to be in our rotation. And it helps when Corbin Burns walks in the door. <laughs> yeah. I, I keep thinking of uh, the reaction to the guys. The depth was tested in October for the rotation. What was mm -hmm. their reaction? It was, uh, it was a lot of text that <laughs> night. Go. Yeah, it was a lot of text that <laughs> night. Um, and so that was, you know, that's, that's a huge shot in the arm for us mm -hmm. to get a guy 
that's won Cy Youngs, that's been in All Star games, that's pitched in five postseasons, um, and what he can bring to our to our rotation. You know, we lost Kyle Gibson. Kyle Gibson was huge for us last year in, in um, making 30 plus starts and being unbelievably consistent for us the entire season, and a great mentor to, to these young pitching staff. And uh, you know, Corbin's a, a guy that's uh, the track record speaks for itself, and we're excited to have him. My last one, and look, I'm not saying when he's going to be here. I was just more of Jackson, Jackson Holiday walked out, and I'm like, well, I remember his dad, Matt, right? But I'm looking at him going, gosh, I mean, he just looks so good. He looks so, you know, innocent. But just talk about him and his, his presence and, and what like he's been. like a child. I know. Right? And, and yeah. camp for you thus far. I'm incredibly impressive. And last year he was. Right. You know, and I, you forget that. I know. And so last year we kept him up. Right to the end of camp, and it was he wasn't going to make the team, but I just wanted to have him to have the experience. He didn't look overmatched at all, and it's right right out of high school. I played in the last half of the game, majority of the games, just to have him be around yeah. us, be around the players, knowing that knowing that it was something that he could handle. And he had the minor league season he had last year, where he jumped four levels and into the year Triple A, and, and did extremely well. We're giving him every opportunity here. Just want to see him play as much as possible. We'll see what happens opening day. Yeah. But it's unbelievably impressive for a 20-year-old 20, 20 kid that just turned 20 <laughs> to be able to go play in the middle of the infield in the big leagues and just to have that presence, the bats he takes, how consistent he is defensively already. Um, you know, it's gonna, he's going to be a pretty special player. And handle the media like he did. Yeah. We, we said he came out here, we said he acts like he's 40 in such a in such a wonderful way, right? All you can do is tie what you did last year. Good bloodlines. In terms of <laughs> manager of the year. Oh, me? <laughs> so uh, you. I'm talking about you. She, she's going for consecutive. Are we uh, up for the challenge? Yes and no, Brandon Hyde. No, I just, uh, it's, it's a team award. It's a team <laughs> okay. award for sure. <laughs> you only win those things if your team's good. That's so. right. Well, your team is very yeah. good, and they have youth for days, and there's more on the way, if you can believe it. Jim Callis standing by with more.